How's it going guys? So I don't normally do um, any type of reviews or anything on Apple products. It's just not really my thing. I prefer Android. But that being said, if you haven't heard, there is a new game out on the market, um, the uh, App Store there, and it is called Pixel Press Floors. I'll put a link down into the description. That way you can get to it. Check it out. It's free to try out and basically you get the basic game and so on and there are some in-app purchases um, for um, like power-ups and a couple extra little things. But this is something that I have to do a review on it. Um, actually really share it with you. If you haven't heard about it, basically what it is, it's a draw your own video game setup. So before I get too much into the app itself, I'll show you here. What you do is you uh, go online and download um, their whole SketchUp thing, and I will also put a link for this. And let me get back to the page here. And what you're doing is trying to create a grid, which is literally a video game that you are designing from scratch and will be able to play, modify, share with your friends, and put out onto the, um, um, to the network and let other people play it also. So, I mean, this thing is remarkable. It's probably one of the best designed apps that I have ever seen. True innovation at its best. Um, so basically, what you get when you go online, you download, it's a PDF format. You can also just leave it online if you want. So it has different instructions and in how things move and how things work. Um, and it has all the different things, the different creator elements. And so you have things like terrain blocks, which can be any type of shape, and that's your general um, how you move around and what your levels are going to look like <clears throat> and then you have things like ladders and monkey bars coins falling blocks exploding blocks pits um, spikes you can make lava pits all sorts of stuff different portals so you can you know use special portals to go back and forth between different levels and so on it's pretty pretty extensive what you can do if you've ever played any of the old style you know 8-bit 16-bit style side scrolling games you know Mario Super Mario Brothers for best example Sonic the Hedgehog original you know some of these real core gamer you know nostalgia games that you played when you were a kid or you know maybe that you haven't and you're playing only from Xbox 360 and newer and things like that and you've never experienced this this is the traditional side scrolling game and you get to create it. So as you draw these things, you pretty much design how it sets up, and then once it's in the app, you get to customize how it looks. And so this is a quick example of what one level would look like um, from their website. So they've drawn out and they've added different terrain and spikes and ladders and uh, pits, and then you can see how it relates into the game. And there it is. So this here is one I did. I just did one floor just to do this video here and let you see what's going on. So basically what you do is get a blank grid like this. I have a few more over here. So you get the, gr the blank grid and it gives you three levels that you can do. So you have you know three floors that you can go up. So the goal is you start at one area on the very left here. You go through all of whatever you've created and do what's needed to get to the end and that'll bring you to the next floor and then you do it all over again. So you have three floors. You can add enemies, you can do um, various power-ups um, and all sorts of stuff like that. So the way it works is you get into the game here and you can start off, if you don't want to do any creating, you can start off and just go jump right into play. And what this will do is load up the arcade and it shows you all sorts of um, things that players have already created and submitted um, to the arcade. So these are things that people, along with the creators, have made for you to try out and to play. So it's pretty impressive because without doing anything on your own, you can already jump in and play all sorts of different side-scrolling style games, which is great. But the true genius of this is the create side. So what you do is you get into the create or go back to home and you start right there on create and you start a new level and it gives you multiple ways of doing it so if you don't want to print out the paper and draw all that out you just want to just start doing it you can draw in app and this will load up the grid as you can see it's pretty much a copy of the grid and you can start going in so you can zoom in and move it around and start on the floor and then you get all these tools 
to draw. So you have your standard drawing, so you would use this one and, and draw out, you know, however you want your, your levels to look and so on. Um, and then the various things to follow along with the um, little design aspects that are from this page. So all of your creator elements. And once you get everything all set up, let me get back out of here. Just label that whatever. You start a new level from paper. And this is where it's going to open up your camera. And I'm going to have to put up above, but so you can see it has these little lines that match up the grids on the paper. You see how the, the symbols are matching up there. Um, and what you do is you line that up and it'll scan the paper. So I'm going to do that now. And it captures and analyzes. Now this process can take a little while. Um, the first time I did it, it took a very long time. The second time I did it, it wasn't too bad. Um, let's see. Oh, it looks like it's asking to scan it again. Let's try that. Now it is definitely important that you use um, that you use a ruler, a ruler and a dark pencil, and really get the lines as straight and dark as possible. And when you erase, if you have to make a change, make sure it's as clean as possible because you know, let's face it, it's using a camera to read what you've drawn on paper and then it goes and interpolates that into what your level is. So basically it's just setting it up for you so you don't have to draw through the app. And as you can see, here it is doing its thing, looking for all the lines that I've drawn. Now, I've uh, read that they're actually working on getting this algorithm to be even better than it is. So far it's pretty decent. Um, I haven't had to change too much, but you will have to go in and edit and make sure. So you can see there's a couple little lines already that are not on my paper, but that it put on there. So certain areas where I've erased definitely do cause problems. But, you know, considering this is the very first uh, release of it, they're still working on tons of stuff behind the scenes. It will get better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing. And I will actually probably speed up the video so you don't have to watch the entire thing. Or maybe I'll just jump to the next one. Okay, so once it's all done reading everything, um, you'll be presented with the overall finish of what it thinks it saw. Now, like I said, you will have to go through and edit things. So that's what I've done here. Um, just to speed up the time of the video, I didn't want to show you every single little part of editing, but you will have to go through and edit to make sure everything is, is nice and neat um, to what you want. Then what you do is you have this little thing over here so you can do a quick view of what it, you know, the rough, real rough draft of what it's going to look like, your game. Um, but then you get into the real fun part is you get up here into design. And when you're in design, this is where you're given the true freedom of, of your creativity here. So first part you have is a couple stories. They're, they're going to be adding more to this. And two different stories right now, what they are is basically the theme of the game. So I'm just going to do the Save the Parents one and try that out. And then you're given various things. So the first one is your background. You can choose all sorts of different types of backgrounds. You can have it plain colored or nice little, uh, looks like a desert scene and some fun colorful stuff. I like the forest one, kind of a dark foresty look. Then the next one is what your um, platforms are going to look like. So because we're in forest, I'll give it some green bamboo platform. Then you have, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a contrast in here. I'm going to do a red brick. So next one you have is your pits, so your hazards. So you have spike hazards or you have lava pits and slime pits, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a orange pit there. And then your next one you have is your collectibles. So these are the coins and, and special coins that you can pick up. So go ahead and pick one of those. And you can see they're starting to form here in the in the level. I can zoom in. You see it's all, all getting nice in there. Then you have your different portals that you can use. So these are the ones that are coming with the specific uh, theme and um, stuff that I've chosen already here. So there's all sorts of different things that you can choose. I'll just choose that one. And you see I have some portals there now. So that 
gives me the ability to jump back and forth between these two points. Um, next up, you got a couple music choices. I'll just choose one of them. Um, I think it plays when you play the music there. Or it won't, won't give you a preview, but it'll play when you play the game. Then you have your heroes, so who you're going to be. Uh, just choose their first main guy. And it should be, let's see if he is... Nope, he's not dropped in there yet. Um, if you want, you can add enemies. I don't have any enemies added at the moment. I'll just leave that alone. Um, this is how your portals are going to communicate to each other. And then you have your power-ups. So let's get this moved over here. I have one power-up in this level that I've created. And what it is is a bomb. So I have some walls I can blow up. But you can choose things like jetpacks and time freeze if they have enemies, speed, invincibility, coin magnet, health, extra life, and so on. So I'm going to leave it as a bomb because that's how I'm doing it. Then once you're all set with that, you go ahead and play the game. Now, this is my first time really playing this. Um, as a matter of fact, this is the most detail I've put into this game. Um, so you're, you're experiencing it the first time I'm experiencing it. So don't expect me to be any good at this here. There you go through and... This is something that I have created just now. This is not some other developer's game. This is not something where I've just choosed. I've designed this game using pixel press levels and I'm here playing. It's almost like a dream. I'm playing a video game that I have designed. I mean, how cool is that, right? Haven't you ever wanted to do that? So here's my thing. You do have a double jump. There I am dead. Fell on some bricks that fell away. If you notice, those were fall away or breakaway bricks. So you do have a single jump or a double jump that you can do. So you can really get high in there. Oh, died. So yeah, that's that's, that's my level. Um, I would have to go through. I don't think I want you to see you guys uh, or have you see me playing this forever trying to beat my own level. But that's Pixel Press. So done testing. Once you're done, you can save it. And get out of here and rename it if you want and all that good stuff. And you can send it out. So once it's there, you have the option of going in. Load times are a little bit slow right now. I'm sure that's just because they're still getting the server going. Um, so you can go through and you can publish to the arcade if you want. So any of them that are published to the arcade. It says only levels in the arcade have uh, leaderboard entries. So as you pub when you publish them, it'll actually start telling you how many people have played it, who's got the best score on it, and so on. So that's the Pixel Press game. Pixel Press Levels. I'm sorry, Pixel Press Floors is the name of the game. I'll put all the stuff down in the description. Let me know what you think. For me, I think this is probably one of the coolest games ever, and this has actually breathed a whole bunch of life back into the, my iPad because, like I said at the beginning, I'm, I'm an Android fan. Um, this one is going to be coming to Android. It's going to be a little bit longer than now. Um, it's in stages, but they are definitely working on an Android version of it, so that's going to be a great thing to get onto all the Android tablets. Um, also, phones. It doesn't necessarily work on, on the iPhone, although I guess you can scan your paper and then save it and then pull it up on the iPad. Um, that's also something else that they're still working on. There's other types of games they're working on. Um, so there's a whole lot of stuff. Check them out, Pixel Press. I love this thing. And now for the surprise. I have one premium membership that gives you full access to all of the in-app purchases, and I wanna give it away to my YouTube viewers here. So in order to enter, all I need is for you to hit the subscribe button for my channel, Leave a comment down below on this video letting me know what you think about the game. And if you'd like, give me a thumbs up. On the 5th, I will choose one person at random to give the uh, premium membership to. Now, the winner will need to give me an email address so I can forward that to Pixel Press for them to set up an account. If you're not willing to give me an email address, then I will choose another person at random. So that's all I need. Thanks for watching.